Hello, people of the internet. I'm Alan, and we're going to be doing a video today on, well, you've seen the title, but the Beretta 84BB chambered in 380 auto. So let's get into it. There's a lot to talk about this gun, but I'm going to try to keep it concise, and I'll get you guys some closer looks at it, but... I wouldn't say this video is a review per se, it's more going to be just kind of a deep dive on this firearm. It's obvious that by today's standards, a lot about this pistol is pretty outdated, um, considering that it was kind of de designed in the 80s. Specifically, I think the 84 was started in 1982, um, but this one here dates all the way back to 85, so about a few years shy of being 40 years old, this pistol here. But with that in consideration, it's in pretty good condition. So, the Beretta 84BB in 9mm short, 380 auto, 9mm Kurs, or 9x17. Has a lot of names. Has a capacity of 13. That'll focus in. Thirteen plus one here of three eighty auto. And a single and double action trigger. Or I guess in this case just double action. This is from the eighty series or cheetah as they call it, pistol series. And there's actually a lot of different variations between this. The 84 BB is 13 plus one with a 3.81 inch barrel and 380 auto. There's other variants of which that I'll explain to you right now. So, the original three pistols that were to launch with the 80 series were back in 1975, of which there was the Model 81, which was in 32 ACP, but everything else was the same. Other than that, 32 ACP had a 12 plus one capacity. The Model 82, which was a 9 plus 1 and 32 ACP, and then the Model 84, quite similar to the 84 BB, with a 13 plus 1 and 380 auto. Now, the reason that there's a distinction of 84 B, BB, F, and FS is because the, the B series of either the Model 81, 2, and 4 was that it had a shorter extractor implemented, as well as a grooved front and back strap. So you can kind of see those those grooves there if it'll like actually properly zoom in. As well as wider rear sight dovetail. Uh, I don't really have the original one, so you can't really see what those sights would have been like on the older ones. As well as ambidextrous safety disconnect trigger. So you can kind of show that in action here. You can kind of see that there's a bit of take up when using the double action and it has a kind of points, different points where it kind of locks up a little bit. But when I sw flick the safety on, you can kind of notice there's no take up anymore, no resistance. Disconnects the trigger bar, which you can see being pulled right there. Uh, some other changes were that they also increased the serration slides. The differences between the BB which we have here and say newer models such as the F or FS is that the F had a squared, kind of more modern looking sugar guard as well as plastic grips, um, different finish. It's not blued, it was more of a black matte finish as well as chrome lined inner barrel. And also when that you would switch the safety on, it would actually decock the hammer for you. So. With these kind of older pistols, you can keep it, what they say, cocked and locked. The FS just had a slightly improved safety decocker. So, with the FS and the, the newer models, and something to mention, they just announced the Beretta 80X, which is kind of this more modern take, but with 380 auto. And I had the privilege of being able to go to SHOT Show and kind of see that up close. Um, kind of differences in the pistols uh, between this and uh, the X was that it has a uh, kind of a rail system here, uh, kind of some small features, uh, newer proprietary mags. I think it weighs slightly less, but the barrel is a bit 
longer than the uh, 3.81 inch on this one here. But other than that, not too crazy of changes. To get into kind of how uh, operation of this guy looks, this slide has it's a bit more difficult than, say, on some other pistols, especially when you're wearing gloves. But nonetheless, uh, it's incredibly reliable. It very rarely kind of has hiccups or jams. I'm leaving marks on it for my gloves. It's a very easy to shoot pistol. And I personally think that's because of its weight and size being that of like a 9 mil, but with 380 auto really allows it to be a lot more controllable. For some kind of comparisons for people who are not used to different types of ammo, I have some different types of ammo that I can show you here. So we've got 380 auto on the left here, and this is 9mm normal 9x19 Luger, standard 9mm round. We've got 12 gauge, 2 and 3 quarter inch sh uh, shell, and got a big ass 8mm Mauser round. And you can kind of see that difference in the uh, Height, but there's also a very slight difference in width as well among the two cartridges. There's a big contention between 9mm and 380 auto, the difference in penetration with ballistics gel, and I'll put a photo up, is pretty minimal, and you're still going to be able to put somebody down regardless, and especially considering that the pistol is far more controllable than 9mm uh, of its size and weight makes it so that you're gonna hit way more rounds on target. So, just to start out, let's take a look at the weight of the pistol of the 84BB alone. So it comes in at uh, about 23.6 ounces unloaded. So that's honestly lighter than the new ADX. Let's also take a comparison of the weight of unloaded mag here, stock Beretta mag. Mag coming in at 2.8 ounces, whilst loaded is 7.2 ounces of 13 rounds of SIG hollow point. Another great holster I was able to find for it is, uh, I'll zoom that in, Azula holster here. Great leather holster, appendix holster. This pistol isn't honestly the best for carry. Uh, it's kind of big and definitely a little awkward. Enough gaveling. What is there to say about this pistol? It's easy to control. It's fairly accurate for a 380. Probably one of the more accurate pistols you can find in 380 auto just because most others are pretty small. It does fit a niche uh, for people who are looking for the controllability of a 380 but don't want the pocket size and want something larger that because of that added weight makes it more controllable. Uh, newer pistols do it better just because they've had the time to figure out the proper sizing and recoil systems, and not to mention this is a straight blowback pistol. So, um, I mean, considering it's straight blowback, it's pretty low recoil. Um, I was, I've been always surprised when I try other, th you know, straight blowback 380 auto pistols. Um, and I think, you know, like I said, that weight really helps um, cut down a lot of that recoil. Um, there's obviously better options th for 380 pistols like the new Ruger, LCP, Max, whatever, 380 auto. That is, I mean, this pistol is definitely outclassed by that in a lot of ways. I've got two dummy rounds loaded up. And something to mention, there is a mag disconnect on this pistol here. So, load it up, and another thing to, that's kind of interesting, you kind of have to bump it in. If you're kind of lightly pressing it in, you kind of have to do this, because it kind of stops right here, a little resistance, and it clicks in. As far as charging is concerned, there we go. Mag is, round is in the chamber, and there's a little indicator there showing that there is actually a round in the chamber there. Uh, indicator as well, this is the uh, extractor. And you'll kind of see that and extract right now. Another round in there. So, it's like I said, the uh, it's pretty stiff on the slide, um, at least by modern pistol standards. But okay, another thing to mention is something interesting that you'll find here is a little marking. 
I don't know if it'll zoom in. There we go, that marking right there. Marked as AN. And that signifies there's markings for what year this was made. This one here was made in 1985. So it's about two years shy of being 40 years old. So it's a pretty damn old pistol and considering the condition it is in, it's in, it's in very lovely condition. I got this from my father. This is my father's old pistol. And something else to keep in mind is that with the BB is that there's only a finite number. They're not making any new ones of the BB. I'm pretty sure they're making limited numbers of the FS, uh, the newest kind of changes. But if you want this older, sleeker design with blued finish, there's only a finite number of these guys out there. Not incredibly rare by any standards. They still do imports of these, but definitely not super common. That's for sure. And especially now that they have the new ADX out, I don't even know if they're gonna keep making the FS, who knows. And one last thing I'm gonna do before we uh, wrap this video up is I'm gonna show you guys how you uh, take down this pistol. It's pretty simple, quite honestly. Take the mag out first, mags out, and then there's a little tab. See that little f flap right here? You press this button right here, the 84BB. Press it up and press this piece all the way down like this. The slide will go forward ever so slightly. You can also put the hammer back to kind of help you uh, get the slide off and on. The entire thing just slides right off like that. And we have the slide here, we have the body of the pistol here, and all the kind of the guts with that. Recoil spring and the guide recoil spring rod here. Comes right off. And then the barrel itself. I'll take that. Take a look at that there. Considering how old this pistol is and didn't always have the best storage, it's honestly kind of held up to the test of time quite well. The slide as well. I personally think it's a it's a very beautiful pistol. And putting it back is back together is quite simple. Take that guy right there like this. And then just gotta line the guide rod up like so, and then press it all the way back like that. And it just presses, if I can get that on the camera, right there under in the, the barrel. It puts it in place nicely. Keeps it from moving around. And then you line it up with the raw, the guide. Guide line right there. Slide it all the way back. And once it's all slid all the way back, go back to that button right there. And you press on it, you can flick this switch right back, then the slide is black, locked right back in place. To summarize, this is definitely a very beautiful, elegant pistol, especially with its blued finish, rounded trigger guard. It's fairly accurate and, I mean, it's one of the most accurate 380 auto pistols one can find, and that's due to its barrel length and its weight. Not to mention it is reliable, it's rugged, and it's from Beretta, one of the oldest gun companies, or actually the oldest gun company, still in operation and still in business today. Thank you guys for watching. We're probably going to be doing some more airsoft videos and some gaming videos uh, for the next videos to come. Um, but I will get around to making more gun stuff for people that do kind of enjoy these kinds of videos. Other than that, have a nice day. Have a great day.